today we're going to continue playing the cursed forest. Da -da -da. <laughs> we actually yes. think that. We I know. Know. Well, I didn't know, know. Well, I was going to do that. I didn't know I was going to do that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, look at that drawing. Mm. The two hands. The zeros, the Christian mark, and the, I guess it could be a person that's holding up their butt cheek. I was thinking about holding up a skirt. Oh, okay. it's a very short skirt. <laughs> I was thinking skin folds. <laughs> Of the water to 
The boy glimpsed bright red scales, a shark like yore and rows of ragged sharp teeth. After having recounted his tale, I told the boy that I didn't believe him, that nothing so monstrous could be in creation. In response, he retrieved from his bag an old book, flipping to a well-found page that showed a hand-drawn picture of a grotesque-looking catfish. It was not the creature he had seen, but proof that nature could be more hideous than anything I'd ever imagined before. I went home in tears, and my father berated me for believing in such foolish make-believe stories. Even now, although I know it cannot be true, some part of me believe that such a creature exists, perhaps hiding in the cave deep below the water's surface. Sometimes it haunts my dreams. In them, I am the boy swimming out into the lake. I see it beneath me, coming towards me. But I am powerless to move. When it grabs my leg in its jaw and drags me into the depths, I feel no pain. Only the sense of relief that comes from succumb, succumb, succumbing. succumbing to the inevitable. It's strange. You'd think that I would stray away from the lake. But more than ever, I find myself drawn there, hoping to catch a glimpse of the mysterious creature from my nightmares. The boy of the water! Sounds like that, uh, the girl in the water. Ah! Oh my god, oh, I hate this! I Me hate too. so bad. Oh. I will just you didn't know it! Mini Sensen hates water! Well, we made it! We made it! Oh, great! And we found the hippo! Oh, you saw the bubbles! <sighs> I don't think we can get up on that one. I think we need to swim over there. Fish 
we got a bone from the bunny, so we should get a bone from the deer. Yeah, but where is the deer? It, I mean, we found the, the the drawing of the deer and the note, but it didn't. We didn't see a deer. Anything to sacrifice? Or get kidnapped. Were we up at this campsite? Yeah. I'll go there anyway. No, we haven't no. been No, we haven't. I thought we had. Memory is right. Here we are. Sm yes. Smuggler Cave Secrets. John told me that there is a cave hidden in the forest where many years ago thieves from the city hid precious contraband. When they were caught, the cave was searched and the valuable items were confiscated and removed. As I knew of a few, a few interesting stories about this area, I pestered Jam for every detail he knew. We searched for the cave for weeks, with only a vague idea as to, as to its location. Eventually, on one of our many rambles in the forest, I found it, exactly as it had been des described. The boulders flanking either side of the entrance, the hanging ivy partially obscuring the hole in the rock face, the fallen log perched precariously above it, I wanted to go inside, but the daylight only penetrated a few feet into its depths. I'd had the illogical thought that maybe something precious had been left behind in there. Jewels that had fallen into a crack in the floor or gone unnoticed. Money that had been hidden extra securely amongst the stalagmites and had not been found. Gold pieces buried under a thin layer of dirt in the floor. Jan convinced me not to go in. The ground was slippery and uneven, and without a light to guide our way, could get lost in a, in a branching tunnel. I never returned to the explorer. I think that's for the best. If I'd have entered the cave, it would have been empty and only filled with my disappointment. As I never went back, in my mind, it remains an untouched cavern filled with riches, a room of lost virgin treasure, a precious memory. So, are we gonna find a cave? Probably. Nothing to find here? No. Mm -hmm. Then we enter half a cave. Ah, <laughs> there she is again! Haha! <laughs> Didn't scare me this time! Why did she scared me? Oh, cave! Oh, great! No bridge! Well, there is a little ledge. Oh, great! I'm gonna hunt you down! <laughs> I'm angry! Ah! 
to the deer road. Uh, sorry, I'm blind. <laughs>
that smell. Maybe that's a deer thing. Don't jump from here. there. Don't jump from there. Looks like water. But I don't want to go to her. But that's What's not her. her. That's like the dark thing. Like the... Oh, it's moving. Oh. Maybe you're supposed to follow it. I don't want to follow it. That's a deer. down here though. Well, Should we follow, follow her? her? Downstairs, yes. Now we can jump in the water. Ow. For a moment, I feel safe. I believe that all this energy are in interconnected and grow stronger with each lit flame. I cannot say. The longer I reside within this forest, the more terrible it becomes. And time is running out. Every moment this place is changing and adapting to my presence. I feel as though I am sitting in a pot of water that is slowly being brought to the floor. Oh my god. That sounds a bit like... If the end power grows stronger when lighting this, is it good power or bad power? Well, he feels safer. But, but maybe because she I... wants us to light them. Yeah, and therefore that's... leaves us alone to give us a false sense of security. I will stand on you. <laughs> <laughs> you really want to say don't stand in fire. <laughs> well, it's not fire, it's magic. It's okay. 